Jacksonville Speedway. You wanted the best. You got them for a rest. Often imitated, never duplicated. The greatest show on dirt. The world of outlaws. No energy drinks. Print cup. Feature action underway at Jacksonville Speedway. Into turn one, Buddy Copeland, Kyle Larson side by side. Larson leads at the end of the backstretch. Copeland back to the bottom. Kyle Larson leads lap number one. Giovanni Selzy now trying to get a run on Copeland for second. Copeland staying within striking distance of Kyle Larson. Here comes Giovanni Selzy looking to the outside now, going to try and swing underneath, looking to take that second position away. They battle tight and hard here into turn number one. Selzy second for the moment. Copeland trying to come back at him. Copeland back to the inside, right there in front of the leader, Kyle Larson. Four laps down. We work on lap number five at the Jacksonville Speedway. Top three punch tightly as they enter turn number three. It is getting closer and closer. Giovanni Selzy putting the work here in on Kyle Larson. That gap is dropped down to just a couple of... Larson seems to be a little stronger in one and two. Selzy's been a little better in three and four. Both drivers were cushion this time in three and four. Traffic now right in front of leader Kyle Larson. Yeah, should have taken the under. Traffic is coming into play already. Giovanni Selzy trying to get back up with Kyle Larson, who is banging it off the wall here. Buddy Copeland searching around this track. He's moved to the bottom the last couple of times through three and four. And heavy traffic now for your leaders into turn number one. Kyle Larson cut off there by Joby Miller. Bottom is not going to be an option anymore for anybody that's looking for it. Larson into the thick of it now. Giovanni Selzy still behind that up here for car lengths. Kyle Larson working the traffic now into turns one and two. Aaron Reitzel battling with Brennan Crouch right in front of him. A couple of Texans side by side in front of California driver Kyle Larson as they roll out of corner number four. David Gravel coming after Buddy Copeland for the third spot now. He's gotten by Carson Pacino. They are bunched up out of turn four. David Gravel doing nice work here. He's picked off Carson Macedo. Now looking underneath on the 83 of Buddy Kofoy. That is for the third position. Still battling through the thick of live traffic here, though. Kofoy and Gravel side by side across the line. Kofoy now gaining on Selzy once again for second. Macedo back around the outside of Gravel. Here's all kinds of stuff happening on the bull ring at Jacksonville. Sheldon Hochschild on the outside of three wide, nearly just got put up onto the berm. That was an incredible move there by Corey Day through lap traffic and through Sheldon Hochschild. Kyle Larson continues to lead out front. His advantage is growing. David Gravel, Buddy Copeboy, Giovanni Selzy, nearly three wide out of turn two for the second spot as they race into turn three now. Buddy Copeboy working for it on the bottom here, but still it's Selzy continuing to be in second. David Gravel is out in these two. Leader Kyle Larson just put a couple of lap cars. Meanwhile, Carson Macedo comes around the outside of David Gravel. Larson opening up a one second advantage now as we close in on the halfway point at Jacksonville Speedway. Kyle Larson with a little bit of clean air in front of him. Only one more car ahead as he's trying to lap the 87 of Aaron Reitzel. Meanwhile, war being waged for second now. Give it to points leader David Gravel at the end of the back straightaway. David Gravel up to second. Carson Messino throwing a slider there. Three wide, Corey Day. Giovanni Selzy, Carson Messino up top. Day working the very bottom of the speedway. They split the lap car. Brenham Crouch, Day working on Messino. Out of turn four. Messino's got the momentum. He'll stay in front of David Gravel getting closer to leader Kyle Larson. David Gravel now battling for the top slot into three and four. That gap was one second at the line, and now here it is for the lead. Gravel to the bottom. Larson going to hang on for now, but David Gravel rapidly approaching for the race lead. David Gravel looking for a run. Leader may have tapped the water. Turn two. Gravel to the inside in three and four. This time by 22 laps complete. David Gravel is right there with Kyle Larson. Buddy Comfort showed the way. David Gravel using the bottom here. Now Larson going to jump to the bottom. The bottom's the place to be right now, says Young Buddy. Buddy Cowboy trying to rip around all of them on the top, and it's suddenly a three-car battle for the lead. Gravel tries the top side out of turn two, and he takes the lead away from Kyle Larson. David Gravel from downtown to the point, but here comes Kyle Larson roaring back on the outside. 11 laps to go. Larson trying to rip the top. David Gravel maintains the lead as they work into three and four. 
Gravel with the lead. Larson all over him. Buddy Kofoid slipping back. Who has a great view of this battle for the leader in Jacksonville. Larson back to the top. Gravel will yield for now, but he's back to the bottom. David Gravel on the bottom. Slower car is there. Larson leads lap 26. Kofoid now coming after Gravel in the second spot. Less than 10 laps to go at the Jacksonville Speedway. Kyle Larson leading it. David Gravel, Buddy Kofoid behind him. Incredible stuff here. How about Kyle Larson up front? David Gravel has faded to just a few car lengths now as Buddy Kofoid roared back for third. Heavy traffic in front of the leaders. Maybe an opportunity for Gravel and Kofoid once again. Seven laps to go at the Jacksonville Speedway. Gravel right back to it. Just a couple of car lengths now. He'll go back to the bottom. Larson banging it off the wall up top. Top three nose to tail in heavy traffic in turns one and two. Gravel to the inside out of turn number two. Side by side with Larson into three and four with five to go in Jacksonville. Laps are ticking away and Larson just got a big helping hand there by some lap traffic. Now maybe going to be stuck behind him as Gravel trying to roar back to life here. Larson tapped the wall on the back straightaway. David Gravel again looks to the inside. Copoid right there as well. Blitz Craig Kitzer. Craig Kitzer going to cross him over. It's going to open the door for David Gravel. David Gravel in the middle of 3-1. Slides Larson up into the wall. Gravel back to the lead. Three laps to go. David Gravel leads lap 32. Larson right there with him. There will be two laps to go as they cross the start finish line. And Kyle Larson taps the wall out of turn four. Who is going to give the air? Gravel giving it all he's got. Kyle Larson got money digging hard. It's all on the line here. Coming to the white flag in Jacksonville. One lap remaining. David Gravel leading Kyle Larson the final time around the smallest track on the World of Outlaws schedule. Into three and four. One last time. David Gravel. Jacksonville! Kyle Larson second, Buddy Copoy third, Carson Macino fourth, and Corey Day in fifth. Your feature winner tonight, David Gravel! Connor Wade set to talk with the current World of Outlaws points leader. As excited as I've maybe ever seen David Gravel. David, what a race between you and Larson. The second time you got to him and had a chance to pass, what'd you do differently to seal the deal? You like that shit? Man, what a great race car. Cody Jacobs, Zach, and, and Steven, they deserve that win. I was able to run lanes. Other people weren't. And, uh, man, had a great car and honestly was fairly conservative and then being too conservative got Kyle back by me and uh, I knew once I got to clear him I had to move up because I know it'd be pounding the top but had the wing pretty far back and I really I was pushing really bad on entrance going into one and wasn't making a good corner but I know I had to screw him all up there at the end so um, yeah what, what a great race uh, hats off to the track crew um, track would have for sure taken rubber if they didn't do all that track work before the feature so I think that was the right call, uh, taking five laps away. It was just starting to take a little bit of rubber on the top, so I think really the outlaws and the track guys made the right call with, you know, 56 cars here. It's really hard to prep a surface with that many cars here. So uh, I just got to thank everybody at Houston Speedway, Billion Automotive, Jackson Motorplex, uh, High Performance Lubricants, JRC Transportation, uh, Impact Signs, uh, Morrison Engines, Maxim Chassis. Couldn't do it without all those guys. It's been a fun year. and. Uh, we hope to keep this up. Some important tracks coming up, Eldora, Lincoln, Williams Grove. Does a Tlacit like this, what does a Tlacit like this do to your mindset going into, into those kind of places? It makes me feel damn good because this isn't really my cup of tea, but it got really wide. You got to use every inch of this racetrack and, and it was a lot of fun tonight, but oh yeah, I'm ready for Eldora and Williams Grove and Lincoln. David Gravel gets win number four in an incredible race at Jacksonville. Awesome stuff here in a non-stop 35 lap feature. We'll say it again, race of the year candidate. As Connor Wade makes his way over to talk to our runner-up, Kyle Larson. A fun race for sure. Kyle, a little bit short. What'd you need there at the end to hold off, David? Uh, I don't know. I would just have to kind of rewatch it back. Um, traffic was thick for sure. And, and being the leader, I just, 
I knew he was there, obviously, because he passed me, and I got him back. And Craig was just, you know, doing his thing, um, just running the middle. The track was starting to take rubber, and I just, I don't know. I, I like I said, I got to watch it back. I don't know if I just got too impatient or what. I felt like I couldn't follow because the pace was starting to slow down as I was getting you know, to his back bumper, and I knew gravel was right there, and and I wasn't quite sure. He seemed like he could move around a lot, so. Yeah, I just I, I shot the gap and I couldn't get down the backstretch good and I knew he'd be coming and um, yeah from uh, I knew we were getting close to the end too because it was just a lot of laps there but um, no it was a great race super super fun um, good to get a good run you know it's been a while since we've been you know, in the on the podium so uh, nice to be competitive all night long from hot laps to the end of the feature just um, keep working on it and, and uh, get me race a little bit more in the sprint car and. Um, you know, hopefully we can uh, just start clicking off good runs and they'll turn in wins. Kyle Larson leads a lot of laps, but brings it home second tonight. Thank you, Connor. Impressive stuff for sure out in front of the field, battling through traffic, and certainly Buddy Kofoid was right there with him and may have had a chance at the end as well. Five consecutive podiums for the Rookie of the Year contender, Buddy. Uh, I saw you a couple times, did off of the Burma, off at turn four, and almost go flying off the track, but you were side-by-side -side and three wide with Larson, David, Gio, Macedo, all through that race. How would you summarize that 35 laps? That was a badass race. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. Um, that was probably about as tight and as full scent as you could get in a track like this, and um, I enjoy that stuff, and that's kind of what I came from, and then with the midget stuff, you could run up like that, and. Make speed, it was fun, so I wish, uh, wish we could get a win. We're so close, and I don't, I don't even know. Our car is so good. Dylan and Nate and Gage are doing a hell of a job in getting me comfortable wherever we go. Like, this is another a new car for us we wanted to try, and it was perfect. So I feel like that's just a testament to Dylan and, and his capabilities. I'm so thankful to have him in my corner. Um, Dennis and Teresa Roth, I can't thank them enough for the opportunity. Uh, Mobile One and Toyota. Um, for everything they do to keep us going and um, I feel like we're right there just you know I thought the bottom would be good on the start just because of how juiced up it looked and then Kyle circled me through the middle and then kind of got in line and um, actually stayed on the bottom and fell back to third and then got back to second and then I don't even know how I got past back for third we were all over um, track was fun I mean can't say enough about Jacksonville that you know these guys did a, a hell of a job um, this was your two spots better, but still really good momentum. Another good run for Buddy Kofoid. John, Tommy, a great field, a great crowd, an exceptional race. Sprint car racing is thriving. Absolutely, and Tommy Cook, before we get into the full field rundown, not only did we go caution free in that feature, but of the 24 starters, 23 were still running at the checkered flag. It, th this was an incredible show here tonight. I know the outlaws at Jacksonville Speedway are seeming to be a once in a blue moon thing, but uh, after the show here tonight, I'm going to be disappointed if we don't see Jacksonville back on the World of Outlaws schedule for next season. This was a hell of a show here tonight, and uh, kudos to everybody the, that uh, ran up front here tonight. Really, that came out at all. 56 sprint cars took to this surface here tonight. Uh, incredible stuff all night long. Here is your full field feature rundown. The winner in car number two, David Gravel. Second, the 57 of Kyle Larson. Finishing third, the 83 of Buddy Kofoid. In fourth, it was the 41 of Carson Macedo. Fifth, the 14 of Corey Day. Coming home sixth, the 18 of Giovanni Selzy. Seventh was the 17 of Sheldon Hoddenshield. In eighth, the 83 senior of James McFadden. Ninth, the 16 T of Cole Macedo. And in tenth, the 49 of Brant Sweet. Finishing 11th and getting tonight's KSE Hard Charger Award, the number 15 of Donnie Schatz. 12th was the 17B of Bill Baylog. 13th, the 9P of Parker Price Miller. 14th, the 24D of Danny Sams. 15th, the 1S of Logan Shuhart. 16th, the 99 of Skyler G. 17th, the 31 of Zach Dom. 18th, the 70 of Craig Kinzer. 19th, car number 9, X Paul Neenheiser. 20th, the 23 of Garrett Williamson. 21st, the 2KS of Chase Randall. 22nd, the number 1 of Brenham Crouch. 23rd, the 51B of Joe B. Miller. And in 24th, the number 8. 87 of Aaron Reitzel. It was Kyle Larson leading laps 1 through 23. David Gravel led laps 24 and 25. Larson led laps 26 through 31. And David Gravel led laps 32 through 35. Once again, on behalf of the World of Outlaws, NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series, and everyone here at the Jacksonville Speedway, we thank you all so very much for being a part of this history-making night. For Connor Wade in the infield and Tommy Cook alongside me here in the booth, my name's John Gibson. Good night, everyone.